All right, so got a awesome trip planned today. Been sick all week. It's uh, coronavirus time too. Not coronavirus symptoms, but different sickness. But I'm not missing this for nothing. We're headed up to the mountains. Gonna look for uh, some yellow-bellied racers, but more importantly, we're gonna look for mountain king snakes. Stay tuned. So Cameron and I are here looking for what? Not side blotches, uh, mountain kings. <laughs> <laughs> Did I ruin your shot? No. <laughs> well, surprise! Yeah, got some large blotch salamanders. Oh, oh yeah, large blotch. What? We're not even near a pond, dude. Size comparison. As big as a guitar pick. Super cute. <laughs> a funny story is that I actually met Cameron back in 2018 at this same location. He found a life for a yellow-bellied racer, and I found a life for Mountain King. This was our first trip back up to the mountains to try and flip the script in 2020. Good start to the day with the life for Z for Cameron. I never got the chance to make a vid in 2018 on the Mountain King, so here's a flashback for some cool facts on this awesome snake. This is the San Diego Mountain King snake. Now this is a protected snake, so this is why you don't see me holding it. I'm not allowed to. It's, uh, um... A protected species here in California but this is an amazing snake a lot of people search for these mountain king snakes it's just such an amazing uh, snake look at the colors on them red black and white like that now a lot of times these snakes are confused with coral snakes because of the similar coloration and similar pattern but um, you notice that the red touches the black whereas on the uh, coral snakes the red touches the yellow or red touches the white now, these guys are not necessarily rare, but they can be hard to find unless you're in, in suitable habitat. Uh, rocky terrain uh, at, at a good elevation. Right now I'm at about 5,500 feet, and that's uh, a good elevation for them. And this time of the year, they're coming out of uh, hibernation, out of their uh, large rock uh, outcrops. So um, this is the time to, to get them. Uh, temps right now are about 65 probably but this is a, a very very secretive snake they spend a lot of time underground they don't they don't uh, come out actively um, across the ground that much I mean they will in search of prey uh, but they spend most of their time underground under surface objects inside rock crevices um, at, now in the summertime they'll come out at night Right, right now they kind of are a diurnal snake because of the lower temperatures, but they can be very cold tolerant. Uh, they can be out found in, in 50, 50 degrees. Now when, when they are searching for food, uh, their, their food consists of uh, lizards, small mammals, uh, birds' eggs, uh, we'll eat birds as well, amphibians, um, and occasional snakes, including its own species. A lot of king snakes are uh, cannibal, cannibalistic. But uh, and also, a lot of these guys are, are typically found around water, around streams. Um, they don't, they aren't always found around streams. Um, I'm actually not around a stream right now, but a lot of times they are. Now, one of the reasons why this snake is protected is because poachers will come to uh, their their home, rock outcrops and slabs uh, and rock flakes, and actually tear the rocks off and pry the rocks off and it, it's basically permanent damage. It destroys their home, and it, it really is sad. Uh, the, these are amazing animals that I wish everybody could enjoy and everybody could see. Um, so always, uh, you know, I, I'm a firm believer in catch and release, but especially beautiful snakes like this, just leave them in the wild for other people to enjoy. Look at that little night snake. Tiny one. You want to grab him? Yeah. Don't hurt yourself, little man. He's about a foot long. So this is a night snake. So it is his bedtime because the sun is out. So why don't you go uh, go back to your bed? Yeah, he knows his home. All right. So I think I'm done looking for. Mountain Kings for a while, and I think I want to look for the lifer yellow-bellied racer. What do you think? Welcome to Racerland. 
everything's the same color as the yellow belly racer. <laughs> so we're looking for racers. I come across here and I see that and I thought it was a twig and then I was like, nope, that's got snake written all over it. Go for it, man. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Dude. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, he's a lot feistier than the last one. Check him out. This is a he's badass day, me, man. He's going to bite me. Okay. Well, let's see if we can get a look at him here. I think he's got a good old... Is that a scar on the side of him? Where? Uh, on the his left side. That's a towards scar. Towards the middle. And, uh... I don't know. I could have just been seeing something. See? Sweet. Is that not awesome or what? Wow, man. Going for two targets today. My Lifer, Yellow Belly Racer. You found it, too. I found it. Cameron got it, so it's teamwork. I was doing the video. And we were looking for a Mountain King Snake, which was Cal uh, Cameron's Lifer. And we got that. So, two e Not even noon. Not even noon. <laughs> wow. All right, so as you saw in that video... This little guy was in the water, um, and uh, which is, I guess, typical. Cameron, the last time he was over here, said he uh, found one that was right along the water's edge. Um, they're typically found in, you know, grassland area, which is um, very similar to what's obviously behind me. That that's what this is. Um, so. Uh, yeah, grasslands with some rocky habitat, which there's rocky habitat right here, but oftentimes, oftentimes right by ponds, and that's what we got behind me. Um, these guys will typically eat birds, uh, small mammals, uh, rodents, uh, insects, other snakes. Uh, I'm assuming they'd eat frogs and fish if they're in the in the stream. Uh, they also can be cannibalistic and actually eat eat uh, each other. Now, this is an adult. It's a, it's a smaller guy. He's, I don't know, what, two feet? 18. Yeah, I mean, clean the tail. Yeah, 18 inches or so, which is probably a young adult. These guys can get up to six feet in length, but not usually here in California. Here in California, they're typically under three feet. Um, now, what's cool about these guys is yellow-bellied racer. He's got the yellow belly. But the adult actually looks different from the juvenile. The juvenile almost looks like a gopher snake pattern or something to that. But it, it has a real blotchy coloration. I'll try to have a, have a picture, picture of them um, so I can show you what the difference is. But these guys just are so alert. A lot of times when they're hunting, they'll actually have their head up looking for stuff like racers do. Typically racers do that. But they have just a very um, acute sense of, uh, of vision and, and uh, sight. You can see it by their, their big eyeballs. Um, they almost look like a mamba. We kind of joke that, oh, yeah, it's a, it's a mamba. But super, super cool. And he's been super friendly. Usually racers will bite. He hasn't bit at all. I think he must Cameron when he first got him as a sign of defense. But super, super awesome. This is a lifer for me. I've yet to find one of these. So very cool day. Freaking mountain king snake. And Yellow Belly Racer. Lifer for Cameron, lifer for me. Woo! Beauty. So we'll get we'll get on film the release. We took we took some pictures. Um, but uh, we'll release them and uh, we'll show that to you as well. But look how yellow. I mean just super pretty. Especially right up by his neck there. Yes. All right, so we're going to let him go basically right where we found him, which I think was right in here. Uh, right, right. Somewhere. Yeah, you can see where I dragged him out right there. Okay. So we'll let him, let him go back where he was. There you go, buddy.